either. But it's funny, I like it, let's go new. I have nearly the same amount of success as a hero like Bane does. Once again, you're just walking on top of that high ground cliff, and he is absolutely assuring that Sumail has a good game. Oh, here comes the concoction, so Sumail just leveled up, they're gonna combine it up with the Nightmare. Sumail lets the throw go, and move in a world of hurt and first blood, it's gonna go the way of fear. Uh, even if he's just gonna play it defensively, just get a little bit more levels. AUI tries to make the most out of the time to harass Hal down. There's still Shikuchi available, and Sean with the stun, he's still got Heck available too, but then Rage from Life Sealer. They glimpse back house, so there's no more chasing. And I think Fear's trying to prepare. Yeah, he prepares with Kaka. You gotta start the concoction here from Samael. It's the max stun time, Kaka. Oh, oh no! Oh, they catch him on the dive. He tried to actually Icarus dive. If he took the stun, then dive, he might have escaped. KP seems to be having a lot bit of time now on this top. Like, he's he's now on top on the CS, and he just keeps taking out the ball, so he creates illusion, stays oh, care of there. Now the strike, AUI, it whips. he wasn't even in rage, but you still got the bugs no. on him, and AUI can't break free of that. Rage yeah, or not, so how are we able to get a revenge kill on the safe laner of EG? If you're gonna devote that much to your offlane, you need to mm -hmm. be able to get some kills around the map, just because... One, he doesn't have the luxury of going back and forth, going to the stack. Fear, he's making a run in. Moog gonna go with a call snap on the Fear. He's underneath the tower, turn on the Sunray from Kaka. Fear just gonna burn, and maybe... Oh, is there enough damage? Yes, there is. Kaka can't escape from Samal, however. Concoction will find the kill as Moog being chased out by AUI oh, inside bottom. the tree line. But there's more help. How rotates in. He'll kill off the Alchemist. Chuan a little bit too late in that TP. It's also really good for Chuan. Like, yeah. he's getting so many levels from this. So is Kaka. You're limiting the efficiency right now. Now, now that EG's TPing over, I think they realize what's going on, but they've lost one stack. Hal, he's still hanging around. Bulbas got raw, and Hal, he doesn't have Shikuchi, so space has to be created here from Kaka. Concoction suddenly time lapses it off. shikuchi away. Sentries are down for the Radiant side, so they can keep that vision over on Hal, and glimpse him back over while AUI mops off the Flaming Bird. They bring their entire team in to, to take care of that. Get two kills, lost the stack. In a game like this, he should. He has every right to. How? They give him the safe lane. Oh, Shikuchi into the tree line. Kaka wants to come forward, turns on the Sunray. How runs in behind him. Bulba gets a little bit of unexpected burst damage. The Sunray's gonna finish the job. Sunstrike also would have helped out. And now PPD, he's got level 6, the go into the Nova. Samal's a little bit too far away, he comes close oh, to the wall, but double. in comes Chuan. The Sun, the Nova's gonna connect, they're gonna lose 3 heroes on the top lane. Chuan picks up a double kill. They make the space beautifully here, Nubi. Of course, the spheres down here. Does he even need to show himself? Like you just keep using your illusions. You Radiant's shouldn't, because if nobody's defending oh, Chuan, they find PPD. PPD. Oh, Sun Strike's right oh. position. No finger of death required. And actually, no mana from Chuan to actually use it. So EG now on the hump. Mu puts up the ice wall, but Bulbar and Smell they come in from a different angle. But they're already out. Two-man combo could be really deadly for them if they set up properly. They're leaving. How just TP'd up to top lane? Oh, that's the two-man combo you're talking about. Chuan, where's the Hex? There's your Hex. And with also the double damage over on Hal, they should have enough to get through AUI. Remember, he's still got Infest available. Concoction arriving from Samael. Damage on the Chuan is quite high. Hal still actually has a time lapse. So he's able to kill off the Life Stealer and repair a large amount of damage. Back in mid lane, Song of the Siren from KP is off. PBD got the ulti off, but he's just buying time for Moody to get back under the tower. They trigger a drum charge, and now in also comes the Phoenix. Kaka to the front line, lets the Nova off. PBD right underneath it, but he can't do anything. He can glimpse Mu away, but the Invoker has already found the kill. He's going to get caught out too by Hal from behind. The Arcane Rune does more than enough damage with that Blightstone. Yeah. So, ineffective ultimates as well. And now newbie, they group up. It's a three-man smoke down mid. They got a rotation coming in from Hal. He's looping it around through the radiant shop. And then they have the Naga Siren. Oh, so everyone this. is here. Four heroes. The sentry is down, but the Lincoln Spear will trigger PPD. He's still got the ult. He doesn't know what Tiger's rolling. He'll end up throwing it on Chuan. But the front line damage is just so much. They have been squeezed in this mid lane. At least you get a double kill out here from AUI. The KP is still on the run. They've also got Song of the Silence. They can keep on diving and Hal wants to. They again reaching almost tier four towers. Armor Tucker will allow Hal to survive. As how the time looks back outside the base, Song of the Siren from KP, now they reset, they disengage, and retreat out. So it was ending up just being a two-for-two two trade off. Tower, pretty much has been so far. Naga Siren countering out a lot of what, uh, whatever push the Alchemist can go for, Toby. Does have the Manta style completed, so he's in okay fighting shape. As EG, they might actually just oh. like Kaka here. Caught inside the ultimate. Hal makes his run through as well, so who knows what's going on, but they get the trigger the Linkers, and they get the Fiend strip off. This is big for EG. They burned the Aegis the Immortal.
But Chuan, ready with his blink. Is there a line sunny? Yes, he misses them absolutely everything. AUI, now I think capitalize on it. Chuan will drop. How is still running out of here, however. They bring down the Phoenix, they bring down the Lion. Newbie, try to get control of the Radiant Jungle. G then gonna play on the north side of the map as Sumil's gonna push things out. What is PBD? Oh, he's coming in behind. They're gonna try to have a move at how? Static Storm is very good for this. Sentry's down, but he time lapses out. But he still has a control though. They've got Fiend's Grip. They can hold how here. They won't even require it. The Beastmaster Raw does enough of the work. Positions to try and defend this bot lane. And they do bring everybody. Moose preparing himself, KP still got Song of the Siren, AUI hanging on the sidelines, they start the initiation over some out, AUI just runs in, goes for Kaka, who Icar assigns and then gets into the Nova, you've already brought down some mail, they want more, the Nightmares on Weaver stopping his attack on the PPD. So they're able to disengage the tier 1 tower. Oh wait, no, AUI, he blinks up, he was infested, now starts oh, to raise TP out, they don't have a stun, they He's don't gone. have anything. So Samael will be the only casualty of war. Of course for Alchemist is to die, just because of the high net worth that he brings to the table. Mm -hmm. All of the death cost is going to be quite high for him. More importantly, it's just time that he's not farming. Oh, Beastmaster Raw, they're able to catch out Hal inside the Radiant Jungle. So you can say goodbye to the Weed Eater, and you're also going to say goodbye to the Phoenix, AUI, with now a Blink Dagger. Yeah, EG has way superior board vision right now. They know exactly where new VR. When you have board vision like this, you want to take this kind of fight. It's also having an Ancient on the front line. <laughs> it's... Delay UI trying to cause some problems. How has his Lincoln's triggered? They get the roar over on Kaka. There's not enough mana to get his Nova off, so KP needs to stop the fight. You can still have AUI run in because he's in the ancient form, looking to attack over on Chorm, but the double stun, Chorm may have to just sacrifice himself. He can't blink himself away while the male's hot in his tail. And AUI blinks forward, so yep, there goes your lion. But instantly newbie, they, they accept the fact that Chorm is dead. They push up top, they push towards mid. Middle tower Dang, is under attack. Don't do that. <laughs> oh. Cautioning to try and get rid of damn illusions on the top lane. But as Kaka, who's the one who's in a little bit more peril, Bulba. The blink came, oh, they're gonna the glitch it back over. So Kaka, he goes into Nova, but that's very easy to deal with when you got four heroes on all sides of it. Just drop your ultimate on top, he can't BKB. Pop the Lincolns, immediately kill him. That is only 1700 HP that he has to deal with and well, we're gonna oh, look for it. Jump. The Necro to give him the vision, but the BKB came up from Hal. He'll timeless back over, but Fear is waiting for him. He gets the grip. AUI blinks forward, I so Hal will go down. Lost. The Sunstrike will connect on Fear, but there's just Radiant's no rebuttal. Tower under, so, tower everyone kind of sees everything on the map. The decision wise, okay, is Newbie gonna. Yeah, they're coming down now. All five heroes converge on Roshan. AUI is actually here at the pit. They just have to get through the Ancient Blind Dragons, Don't the worry, only they're downside. Gonna do this fast. Um, okay, AUI jumps out, and now in comes the fight. It's a nice ulti from PPD, but how? He's the only one caught inside of it, actually, with that BKB. He just keeps fighting, and Bogus already killed off Beastmaster. The Phoenix Egg will also he drop down. You've lost two, you've lost three. He's here trying to retreat out. Fear gets stunned up by Karka, and then burnt by the sun. Zemail is the last man standing on the front line. He's got so much life. He looks for the stun. He'll TP out. Is there? Yes, there is. The song in the sign from KP, isolating out some else so we can go for another net up and some mail. He tries to battle it out, toggle your heart out, Samael. He'll go He's for the sun over on KP. Almost the sun rays there. How's on his tail? The bug is down. He'll finally get his armor back as well as the chemical rage. How keeps the chase going? He's they can't survive. kill him. They have to give him up. The alchemist will survive even though the rest of the EG are currently fertilizer to the ground. He actually bought an eagle song and then sold it. Picks up a Hyperstone instead. They find themselves a target. It's going to be Samael. Isolated inside the dire jungle. Chuan needs to get that stun off and get away. They go instantly into the Nova. With Meteorite dropping Chuan, he triggers the cheese so we get a little bit more life with Samael. Locked inside the Ice Wall. Finger of Death plus the stun. Samael can't get out of it. Down for 90 seconds. I suppose that's one way to kill off Samael. Have all your abilities and all your players with no one from EG there. Just a short 40 seconds away, newbie start to TP heroes in. At the very least, they want to force the buyback. They still have the Aegis available. 53 seconds. Finally, an opening up. for newbie. Where is that buyback? Hal's already brought that mid tier 3 tower down to one third of his life. And he just keeps going again. They give him the Echo Lincoln Spear off Moo. And now your buyback comes in from Samael. The roar from Bulba, the initiation. Kaka 
still no Nova to work with. And you don't have Song with the Siren, so I'm pulling out for another 11 seconds. But how? BKB triggered. Look for your extra stuns, but now they turn to Mail. If they can kill him again, a dieback would be huge, but they can't do it. Kaka was isolated on the back line. Oh, he's fucking insane right now. The Aegis is going nuts. The Mail being thrown in. KP stops the fun. AUI under the rage. He can still have some fun. They drag him back. KP, he just can't escape. But the rest of his team will be able to disengage. Unbelievable. They try to isolate out Sumail, but they simply just do not have the damage for this guy. That's where he's taking the majority of the damage from. They can't really forget about his contribution to the fight. Can't believe how much money AUI has. Alchemist is also another position where actually Sumail, okay, initiation, Kaka, Warren has Song of the Star from KP. He actually turns it off, even though AU1 was nearby. And Moon, he has to make some space here. They're losing too much. The Naga is forced off up, almost up the hillside. He's doing enough damage. He's healing up while it's all going on. PBD on the back line is going to be torn apart by How and KP. He just keeps running. AUI will blink for to take him down. But Bulbas now in trouble with How behind it. A double kill from him. Torn doesn't have a lot of mana work, but still enough to get the Sun over on Samel. That AUI, one hit will do the work. Now the Nova will go out, but will it be enough? Moon to stop these attacks coming to the Nova can connect it well! AUI is the mail, stunned up, now oh, into the sunset, AUI back. can he afford it, it's it gone! Yeah. There's no buyback available! Newbie, a huge fight for them! It looked a little disastrous at the front, but they spent so much time chasing KP! It's about not losing more than that, as Moo's gonna TP in, he has 5,000 gold, oh, buybacks boy. available, they're gonna have to hold this against so many different... Uh, buybacks on the side of newbie is they could just uh, boots to travel back in. There's no fortification as well. You can almost use Song of the Siren at this point just to guarantee your attack. Yeah, KP used the buyback too. So if EG can somehow take a fight. There you are, the first one forward. Triggers off the rage to get the raw rover on Moon. Wanna drop her up in the end. Come through the old gun until now. KP's there. How locked inside the Fiend's grip of fear. They hold him there, but AUI is in too much life and so is Bulma. They're both down. No buybacks available anymore. He'll bring it out from the Bane, but the tier 3 powers dropping and EG then dropping like flies. PPD as well as fear. They are no match for this five-man line from Numi and they're coming in. They're looking for more PPD. KP wants it. He'll be close away. PPD almost dies from that but they find the bigger one as well. It's going to be fear dropping down. KP back for round two. He'll go for the field of play. They're all dead. No one's alive from EG. They're going to get naked right now from Numi and the punishing time. It was one death from Samael but they have been punished so hard they've probably just lost the game. Looks like it's going to be 29 in a row, EG not going to be the team to stop this. As right now, we're just counting if anybody can take a game off of them at this point, oh. let alone a series. Samael, welcome back to the world of the living, and return to the underworld from whence you came. He is down, and GG! 29 to 25, Newbie will take it in 45 minutes, a clean sweep, the streak continues, and they will go through into the winner's bracket as a number one seed out of their group, joining Team Liquid, the only other team to achieve that so far earlier today, and meaning EG to play more games tomorrow.